wake up, it'll be all right. All right, sleep. The fact that he can walk now does not mean that his neurosis has been cured. That will require time. But the way has been opened for the therapy to follow. Now a new way of living begins, very different from the old one whose purpose was killing and trying not to be killed. Now in an environment of peace and safety, all the violence behind them, they are building rather than destroying. Men have their choice of occupational therapy. Some find relaxation in mechanical jobs. Certain types of cases obtain relief in precision work, which answers their inner need for order and certainty. For sons and daughters and nieces and nephews and neighbors' kids, hobby horses are turned out by the car load. Physical reconditioning is not the only purpose in sports which also serve to bring men out of their emotional isolation and back into group activity. One of the most important procedures is group psychotherapy. Here, under the psychiatrist's guidance, the patient learns to understand something of the basic causes of his distress. As one of a group, he also learns to understand that his inner conflicts are, with variations, common to all men. And I think of it a little bit like this. We want to get you out of your own feeling of isolation, to get you to feel that you are like other people. In order to get to that, we have to use knowledge as one thing and something else which uh, has to be added. And that is an experience of safety. You could say it is almost the core of all our treatment methods, development of knowledge of oneself with the accompanying safety that it brings. I'd like to see if we can get some illustrations of how one's personal safety would stem from childhood safety, and how the childhood safety self would stem from the parents' safety. Uh, and my illustration, uh, as a child, uh, whenever I, I underwent any experiences that were frightening to me, I never uh, told my parents. I kept it to myself. Uh, while I was alone at night in my room, I'd call on God. So if I had done anything wrong that I was ashamed of, I was ashamed of, to go to my parents and, and tell them uh, what I had done. So I kept it to myself. And I used to, I know I used to be in constant fear that my parents would find out my feelings. Well, I wonder if there's any of your mother's troubles that you would know about. No, I'm, uh, my mother never uh, gave any of the children any, any part of her troubles. Well, that would be the same thing that happened to you. She didn't tell her troubles, and you didn't tell yours. You took your troubles to God, and she probably did the same thing, probably didn't even confide in your father. In other words, the kind of method that you use to get relief from anxiety was really, we'd have to assume, learned and felt right in your home, the same kind of thing. I think it was all caused by uh, economic conditions in the world. I mean, uh, people trying to comp uh, compete one another, trying to get a better job, trying to keep up with uh, uprising, living things like that, of course, a lot of uh, arguments in the home, mother and father arguing about uh, price of the food, and that has been flexed on the children. Right. Like that. So I think that was one of the causes of worse illness. Not having enough food to eat for the arguments between well, the both. mother. I mean, uh, there was... Well, which was the worst, though? Well, I guess the arguments. Sure, they, of course they are. Because I can't remember about the food. <laughs> there you are. You can't even remember about the food or the lack of food. I have in mind my own childhood. We're uh, coming from a modern mm -hmm. family moderate in the sense that uh, the family had some sense of security. What happened there was we were told that uh, we, I mean my, myself, my brothers and sisters, we couldn't just play with any of the kids we wanted to play with uh, unless their parents in turn had the equivalent of what our parents had. And as a result, we were kept in a narrow circle, very, very narrow. However, uh, I have found that there has been a strong yearning on my part 
to break out of this environment, to be able to uh, play with Tom you can have. I'd say the net results like this. Your mother did not feel really so superior. She felt inferior when she tried to make you take the attitude you were better than the other children. So that now, certain experiences in the Army have brought that out more clearly because you've been thrown in with Tom and Dick and Harry and need to get along with them. It's not necessary to be in the Army. It's not necessary to, to be in the war. These kind of troubles have always gone on in all time through all the centuries. So you're going to say something? I never spoke until I was seven. Is that right? Yes, sir. And I studied very bad. At 14 and 15, I couldn't recite in school. <coughs> they didn't to talk. Can you explain how you get started to talk? How you began to get over that? Uh, during, during the war, the first word I ever spoke, um, Santa Claus had brought me a, a war gun. And my brother broke it. This is the first world war, yes? And so on. Uh, <laughs> when, when I went in to get my gun, I was, I just, uh, walked dead. Somebody broke my gun. That was the first thing I said. You were angry because someone broke your gun. That's so that's where I started talking. I would say all those symptoms, like being unable to speak, stuttering and so on, they have an underlying anger and resentment in the deeper parts of the personality. You could almost say it like this. Underneath, I can't, you usually find, I won't. Kevin, on uh, Okinawa, I was stuttering too, about three weeks. And uh, as soon as I came here, I'm here a month now, I stopped stuttering. You stopped stuttering completely since you came here? Yes, sir. Well, that's good. I don't know whether that's a tribute to the doctors or a tribute to your fundamental health. It's to my fundamental self. <coughs> no, no tribute to the doctors at all. Very good. <laughs> Some patients require special therapy. Hypnosis is often effective in certain types of battle neuroses, such as amnesia. This man does not even remember his own name. A shell burst in Okinawa wiped out his memory. The experience was unendurable to his conscious mind, which rejected it, and along with it his entire past. Through hypnotic suggestion, the psychiatrist will attempt to evoke them. Relax completely and uh, put your mind on going to sleep. All right, now keep your eyes on mine. Keep your eyes on mine and keep them fixed on mine. Keep your mind entirely on falling asleep. You're going to go into a deep sleep as we go in. <laughs> 